start the recording now. Hello, good afternoon and good morning, everybody. My name's Melanie Bundock and I am an EFT practitioner and coach and I help people to tap into their big vision. So um, at the moment, I'm running a 30 day joyful June big vision boot camp over in my Facebook group. And so the idea is that every day um, it's not a big program or course or anything, but it's just every day there's little tips to help you connect with joy in your life, whether it's a round of tapping or a tip or some inspiration or collaboration with um, somebody who I find inspiring. And um, the thing with joy is laughter plays a big part of it. And obviously the first person that sprang to mind was laughing Linda. <laughs> so um, I, I can't even say your name without laugh. I can't, I, I can't, I, and I mean this in the nicest, part. I can't look at your face without wanting to laugh. <laughs> You laughing at me? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, but um, started already. So, Linda, can I just ask you to introduce yourself and tell us a yeah. little bit about what you do? Sure. Um, my name is actually Linda Gillen, um, but my business name, name is Laughing with Linda. And I go into senior facilities and schools and cancer treatment centers and support groups and corporate environments, wherever people need to reduce stress, which is everywhere. So I don't know anyone that is living a totally stress-free life. Um, so it just gives... I'm not. You're not. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> you do that because you're stressed. We know. <laughs> and there yeah, are... Absolutely. There are, yes, because life is stressful and there's several elements of joy laughing singing dancing playing and you know whatever you can do to be calm and whatever you can you do to be connected with others whether it's hugging meditation other things that bring you calm but laughter singing dancing and playing um take you out of the present moment you can't be in you can't be in your mind if you're laughing, singing, dancing, or playing. It takes you out of your stress because you can't do both. So when laughter puts you in the moment, which is that joyful state, um, like a child. In fact, this morning my grandkids I they had so much energy, they were making me nervous before this. And I thought, okay, everybody go outside. And I went, ah! <laughs> and I just had to shake it off and laugh and then I realized they were outside playing with bubbles and I thought well I can do that so I went outside to reduce my stress I went outside and did karate chops on the bubbles with them and it was like ah, I feel better <laughs> so finding a way even if it's just for a moment to to release your stress because when you laugh or you play or you sing or you dance, you totally release all the stress that's in your body. And that's what we need to do on a regular basis. So um, I teach um, laughter yoga. I also have a weekly laughter club that meets just to play and laugh and connect with each other. Um, and I will start another one when I get to Greenville, South Carolina and in a few weeks but right now i'm in between so this is good i needed the laughter with all the stress of moving and so this is actually a perfect time for me um mm -hmm. because laughter yoga combines laughter exercises with yogic breathing they're like everyday scenarios and what we do is we help people move through the stress by laughing at it and laughing with mm -hmm. it because you can't do both. You can't be stressed and laughing at the same time. And if you can't change a situation, your your mind create your uh, what's the saying? When the, where the mind goes, the body and emotions follow. So if mm. if your mind is all wrapped up with something and you get all tight and stressed, that's where your emotions and your body go. So when you're ready to let go of it, you can laugh and release the stress of anything. In fact, have you ever been so stressed that you had a nervous laugh? 
you kind of go, <laughs> <laughs> that's your body's way yeah. of saying, let it go, let it go. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah. it's kind of like, like crazy mental laugh. Yeah. Yeah. Thing. <laughs> and, and so yeah. that's what we do is we practice, we practice all the different kinds of laughs mm. because we laugh in a lot of different ways, but we're not really aware of it. And so cueing into them helps us go, oh yeah, I can laugh at this one. So mm. it's like this morning, well, let's just, can we just start and we'll just practice? You want to do this? Yeah, with me, I would love Ready? to. Okay. okay. So first okay. thing we want to do is breathe because when you, when you do deep breathing, you're putting more oxygen into the body and the brain. And that's what laughter does. Laughter is exercise. It actually boosts your immune system, reduces stress, relieves pain, aids in your sleep, um, gives you better communication with other people and it breaks that cycle of negativity. So you become healthier and happier. And so helping people kind of key into the daily things that they get tight and stressed over, help us go, oh yeah, I can do this. So we start out with breathing. Just take a big deep okay, breath. Okay, everyone going in with us. Okay. <sighs> Ready to take another big deep breath. <sighs> Good. Now do another one and go. Ha ha ha. Ha, 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 ha. Ha. Now pull it in and go. Hold it. Now laugh it out. <laughs> <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> there you go it's as simple as that you don't need comedy jokes or humor mm. to laugh mm -hmm. all you need is a willingness to Gotta laugh keep a great face now yeah that's right <laughs> and making faces is a good way to start too so if you can just make if you're in the mirror just Ugh, if you're tense it's like <laughs> 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 Laughing at yourself oh, is really important. Learning to laugh at yourself because, frankly, we all are pretty funny and we all make mistakes in life. So yeah. laugh at your mistakes. You do do this one for you. Kind of go, oh, oh. <laughs> ah, <laughs> oh. like oh, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you go ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no i actually have got the this is great this is perfect because I just, we love to laugh there's yes. that song isn't there from mary poppins yeah there um, you go um i would sing it but i'm not a very good singer yes so no meaning <laughs> yeah, yes. so so taking taking every every moment you can to laugh and one of the best places to laugh is in the car. When mm. you when you are stressed, the worst thing you can do is drive when you're stressed. So mm. I always do this. If I've just mm. had an argument with someone or I'm all worked up and tense, I get in the car and, and I, we're gonna, okay, pretend you're driving. Okay, we're gonna do red light, green light, all right? <laughs> Okay. I know. It's like it's like childhood play. That's what we're doing. So we're gonna pretend we're driving, and on the green light, you're just gonna drive. Red light, you're gonna stop and laugh. <laughs> Ready? Okay. <laughs> green light. <laughs> Red light. <laughs> <laughs> looks at the red traffic lights yeah, but you know what have you ever seen anybody singing in the car yes have yeah. you have yeah. you ever seen somebody talking or laughing in the car you look over and you don't know who they're talking to you don't know what they're laughing at and if nothing else you've made them smile because when you look at somebody <laughs> and they're smiling you kind of go they're crazy but it makes you smile <laughs> <laughs> it makes you feel good about yourself <laughs> but it also it, but laughter is contagious when you hear someone laugh you automatically laugh because it it lifts mm. your mood when you hear laughter when you hit nothing better than what than listening to a baby laugh 
That's why people yeah. love babies laughing on YouTube, like the one you yeah. posted. I mean, people yeah. love to hear laughter and babies have a natural laugh. It's not forced. They're not mm -hmm. laughing at anything in particular. So we can laugh at anything and everything. So we're just going to practice different kinds of laughs that we all do. Okay, you ready? Okay. Let's just do the yeah. shy laugh. <laughs> now we're going to do a secret. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do in school? I <laughs> know. <laughs> I'm crying, laughing. <laughs> we'll do the evil laugh. What does the evil laugh sound like? <laughs> How about bored? Uh, like a bored teenager or child is like, oh, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh I feel, there is a quick question here, Linda. How did you get started with laughing? So it's a um, um, well, I've been doing, I've been thing. doing, I've been doing laughter yoga for three years, and I'll tell you when yeah. I first came to Austin and I was very involved with the family, I didn't connect with other adults. And I thought, I need to laugh because I was a professional clown for almost 30 years. So really, when I, Gosh. yes, yes. I didn't know that about know. you. <laughs> you didn't know that. Sarah was my lovely assistant from the time she was about six. So um, oh, bless her. <laughs> she knew she knew all the tricks and things. I had a theme party business too. Anyway, beside the point. Um, so yeah. I knew that laughter really fueled me and kept me going. So I looked up on Meetup and I found a uh, laughter yoga. And I thought, I don't do yoga, but I like to laugh. And then I realized yeah. that there's no yoga poses in laughter yoga. It's the yogic breathing, the deep belly breathing that's what that's what you do when you laugh so i went and the very first day i said oh my gosh i have to do this this mm. is what i have to do so i got trained to be a leader and then i got trained by dr kataria from india who created it to be a teacher so now i can teach other people how to how to lead groups and things so and i go like i say i go into anywhere people are stressed and i do a lot of seniors um, independent living and memory care because laughter is one of the laughter and singing are one of the two last two things that you lose it's like colors and singing are the last two things you lose and and so we do a lot of singing we do a lot of playing and we do a lot of laughing and you, you don't need jokes. They don't need to analyze whether something is funny because we just play like children. We just play. And that's that's what makes us all feel better. So I do a lot of senior facilities. So that's a that's a Ooh. real story. Yeah, I love it. Fantastic. My dad had Alzheimer's. And I think that's where I first connected with people that weren't quite connected with the present moment. Um, but they could laugh and they could sing. They oh, love they sing. to sing. Yeah. So mm. I love to laugh with them. Um, so let's just do, we'll do a few other um, general laughs for you. Fabulous. Okay. All right. Ready? So this is the the surprise laugh. You know, so if somebody just jumps at you, you go, ah! <laughs> oh. surprised right um and how about the bursting laugh you go <laughs> <laughs> i've done that quite often usually with a cup of tea in my mouth <laughs> and i read something funny <laughs> yeah it's, it's all real <laughs> yes, <it's very> <laughs> 
Yeah. Or you can go. Oh, oh. <laughs> the snort. snort. The snort. <laughs> 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 or, or you could just do the snake. <laughs> or you could do what we call the rapid fire. <laughs> um, oh, I hope those of you who are watching are laughing along with us. I'm having a great time here. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's making me cry. I don't know. I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> you can breathe in and laugh. <laughs> 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 these videos of, of different kinds of people laughing and their natural laugh yeah. it's because they're taking in air in different ways and so that's what makes yeah. people laugh so funny because some people are yeah. breathing in they go <laughs> <laughs> you can also you can also hiccup laugh <laughs> <laughs> or you can sneeze. No knee slap. It does. Ah! <laughs> 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 now, is there any? Do we know? Do we? I feel like I'm burning calories. You doing are. This. Um, you yeah, actually, are. Okay. actually, you are. Laughter is exercise, and they've actually done a lot of studies on this. And they say that if you laugh for ten minutes, you can burn up to, you know, forty calories or something. If you laugh continuously, it depends on the person, mm -hmm. but that's kind of the general theory yeah. but yes it is it is exercise because you're squeezing your diaphragm every time you laugh and you're taking in more oxygen so it's like out goes the bad air in goes the good right so you are mm -hmm. you are healing your body with more oxygen so you're mm -hmm. you're increasing you're increasing your oxygen and they say they've done a study at the university of maryland <clears throat> that showed that people who laugh people who laugh a lot have a, a lower risk of heart disease mm, because yeah. you're strengthening your heart by increasing the oxygen flow when mm. when you're when you're tense your blood vessels are like this they're just tight when you laugh you open it and the blood can flow and therefore everything seems to flow and you you have less dis-ease or disease mm. when you have dis-ease in your body Yes. That, that leads us quite into, nicely into this question here. Have you had any instant, heard any instances of healing diseases from laughter therapy? Um, I myself haven't had any diseases, but I know, I know a, a number of people who come to the laughter club. Um, one lady had a, a, a chronic phobia, a phobia of, um, um, What's the word? She, what is the word I'm looking for? She was afraid of people. Um, what's the word for it? Um, um, when going outside. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I mean, people just, I, not agoraphobia, but she was so uh, insecure and so unsure of herself. People made her really nervous. And she mm. came to, she came to a laughter club and and then, she, oh, social anxiety. She has social anxiety. Yeah. She came with a group of women from a social anxiety group to our late, our weekly club. And two of the women actually walked out. They were so anxious. This was so mm. far out of their comfort zone, which I totally get. People, you know, moving around and, and high-fiving and laughing and playing. That was way more than they can handle, which I totally understand and respect. She played along and was uncomfortable, and then she disappeared. 
And a couple of months later, I went to um, like an improv meetup and she was the organizer of it. And I said, wow, you've come a long way, baby. <laughs> and she said, I took what I learned in the laughter club and I applied it to my own life. And she said, and I realized I don't have to be afraid of people and I can play and I can have a good time. And so she now runs this improv meetup. And I thought, that is awesome. Awesome. Yeah. And I know I know a number of people in the senior community, they've actually done studies um, with seniors in particular that their their blood pressure drops and they imp, their health improves and their general sense of well-being also improves so they are much happier when they laugh so yeah, that has yeah. been a big yeah that's been a big part so so i'm also certified with laughter wellness so i it's kind of a combination of both um one of the things that we like to do in our laughter club, and I'll show you this one, <clears throat> this is this is something you can do when you are stressed and kind of like tapping. You can do this when you're stressed. We'll start out by saying it out loud, but it's something you can do in your head. So put your hands together like this. Okay, and you're gonna go ha. Ha, ha. Ha, 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 ha. Ha 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 ho 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 <laughs> good now when you when you get stressed like this we call this meeting laughter for people who are who work and are in meetings and there's just so much negative energy around them and they don't want to be part of it and they don't want to get stressed over it if you choose not to take on somebody else's stress this is a really good thing to do so all i want you to do is sort of smile so we know that you're participating anyway. So you're just gonna do this and just say ha 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 in your head. Very good. So what that does is it literally <laughs> it it blocks your mind from anything else coming in because you can't laugh and be um, in your left brain. You can't be analyzing anything. If That's very true. Yeah, mm. you just yeah. can't. You have to be living in the moment. And they say laughter is the best medicine. And they say whenever you can, it's cheap medicine. So yeah. um, there's a lot of people who have who have healed themselves from all kinds of conditions um, and stress. I had I had wrist sur I fell and broke my wrist a, a, about a month ago and had surgery. Um, I remember. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. And so initially it was not funny. It was not funny. And mm. the day after I had surgery, I had to get on an airplane and fly to South Carolina to go look for a house. Mm. And so, and I, I was in a lot of pain, but I found that if I just went, ah, <laughs> 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 it was a good it anesthetic helps. yeah it, it is it's a really good anesthetic because i couldn't take the pain pills because mm. they would make me too loopy and get on a plane so i would like your natural laughing gas it is it is a natural laughing gas and and i went to um uh sarah and i went to allison crow's painting retreat and it's a very emotional thing. And I had one of those very emotional releases on my painting. And it was like, oh, and Sarah came over to me and she goes, have you laughed today? And I said, mm. no. And she goes, okay, come on. And we went into the living room and we went, ah. <laughs> 
<laughs> and do you ever feel like it's a bit forced like so say you're not yes. feeling particularly laughing and then and you don't you know, and you don't have to because the brain and the body don't know the difference between forced and real laughter mm -hmm. so you don't we're not laughing at something so forcing yourself because when you laugh you immediately shut off the stress so your brain doesn't know mm -hmm. the difference and it and it floods your body with endorphins which are the feel-good hormones and it lowers the cortisol which are the stress hormones so it doesn't mm -hmm. matter whether it, you're faking it or whether it's real your body doesn't mm -hmm. know the difference so start out by faking it and then it becomes real either way you get the benefits yeah fabulous now the thing is with laughing is it transcends cultures and borders and countries and i'd love to know i don't know if you yeah. know the answer to this question but the origin because obviously babies are born i don't think immediately but within about four to six weeks isn't it that the laughter yes. kicks in it but, laughter but, laughter is the universal yeah, language tell us and mm. and animals when animals pant they go <laughs> we are an animal and we do the same thing. And so we just vocalize it the same sound like an animal would, and we vocalize it as laughter. Yeah, my dog and definitely laughs and smiles. I see it. I yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. So okay, we've got somebody laugh. wanted to call in. Sorry, before I just let you in, um, I, I was going to open this up to let some people laugh with us, but um, so I can't see who that is. But could you just pop in the chat box just to tell a little bit who you are? And I just want to just check that we've got genuine people coming in. But I'm more than happy <laughs> if you are, Linda. Oh, fine. Sure. Yeah. OK. Um, yeah. So who is this calling in? Just pop something in the chat box and just let us know a little bit about you just um, before I let you in. Krushi Preman. Right, let's have a quick... I'm just gonna... hey. <laughs> Should we take a risk, Linda? Why not? Hey, we're open. This is... Every, every, everyone can laugh, let's be honest. <clears throat> okay. Dr. Corey is interesting. Okay, right. Accept. Hello, ladies. Hi, Dr. Gray. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. Welcome. Uh, so I just uh, had a comment, uh, and uh, uh, I wanted to also ask uh, about the uh, your opinion, uh, because yes. I'm a scientist uh, myself. Um, I have a PhD in psychology and a PhD in business, and I'm still doing. Uh, PhD level uh, work uh, researching frequency uh, or, uh, you know, things that it's got to do with our um, basically emotional intelligence. Yes. I just wanted to say that, uh, you know, uh, all throughout my studies, for example, in congruent with what you're talking about, uh, it has, they have been precisely in science uh, identifying human beings uh, as a human animal, like you yes. mentioned, animal. But, uh, you know, when I got into the parapsychological uh, studies, I realized that, uh, you know, it's leaning towards calling uh, ourselves more of a, if we could go actually, uh, like, in a sense, could go uh, beyond the threshold of being human animal, if we could raise our consciousness, then then we become something as a superhuman or what they may call it uh, more like a, in a general sense esoteric or maybe um, you know in a higher vibration so yes. I just like to say that the laughter uh, that human being like for example you know I do stand-up comedy as well for fun uh, and I educate people through that um, I like to say that uh, half the time I see people in a stand-up comedy uh, situation laugh because as human beings, uh, for example, we laugh at our stupidity. Uh, but animals don't do that. They don't laugh at each other's, in general, they don't laugh at each other's stupidity because they're not so much involved with the uh, 
conformity like uh, humans do with all these laws and regulations that uh, we have sense of uh, understanding to put down as records. Yes. I don't think um, animals have an ego like we do. I truly believe we are spiritual beings having a human experience. And so, or, or vice versa. Yes. Yes, exactly. Mutually. And so, yes, mutually, indeed. And so we, what we experience is, is obviously going to be different than animals, but learning how to, how to um, release our own anxiety because we get wrapped up in our own head and animals don't stop and analyze things. They don't need to go to therapy for 10 years when they, when they have problems. Um, and, and that's, that's a human problem because we, we just store all of these memories and all of these thoughts and stresses and animals don't do that. They run. And in fact, it, in, if, a, if a, a gazelle is being chased by a lion and it fears for its life, it will sit down in the, in the bushes and it'll just shake. It'll just shake, 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 shake until it releases the stress. Mm -hmm. And kind you, of like this. It does you, it. You're a researcher? I am not a researcher, no. Oh, but you, you sound like I a have, scientist. Uh, well, because I've, I've been doing this for a while and I know a lot of the studies and I know a lot of the research, there's a lot of research online. Um, and because I've, I've, I've taken, you know, several um, certifications and there's a lot of studies and the groups that we I participate with share studies. In fact, one woman just got a study um, um, certified. She's working with seniors and the benefits of laughter with seniors and how it reduces their stress and they sleep better and they have less pain and only by you know, a, a kind of a clinical trial with them where they, they actually went with them and they asked them on a scale of one to 10, how do they feel about this, this, and this before and after they were able to, and then they also um, interviewed the staff to find out the general connection and mood of the, of the people afterwards. And they all were better connected and happier after and they didn't need as much medicine and they all slept better after the laughter session okay so, so in in, uh, in in then my take is that uh, you have more of a educational stance uh, i did uh, three qualitative research studies uh, and i the reason i did qualitative studies uh, is because i wanted to hear the voice and the reaction of exactly what it felt like to interview these people sure so it had more of an emotional intelligence sort of a um, algorithm that i was writing in a sense when i was talking to these people mm -hmm. and making the dissertation ready and defend it for uh, my phd program what i would like what Sorry. i like to say what i like to say is that uh, you know just to finish up i know you have uh, work to do but um I, um, in my studies now with PhD, what I'm doing is a telepathic uh, consciousness or communications uh, among humans. And now uh, I have a group that is dreams come true, uh, coaching uh, type of a circle. And actually we do not call ourselves humans anymore. But uh, Tori, I maybe think something just moving, in frequency. Um... Yeah, I would like to, if you would like to join in with us, like to bring a bit more laughter. Thank you very much for your okay, comments. Okay, but before I go, before I go, uh, we do not call ourselves humans or animals anymore. And uh, okay. I invite people okay. in order to raise their consciousness to not identify themselves as human any longer. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay. okay. Would you like to laugh with us or are you going? Oh, he's gone. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> okay. Thank lots you, of, Dr. Corey. <laughs> lots of thoughts. Yeah, there you yes. go. So Fabulous. let's let's just do some laughter. Okay. So okay. this is called Why stepping you in with, with us. Sorry. This, this is um in again, she's a yoga laughter therapist, and um, and the idea is we're just bringing more joy, more positivity to our lives.
laughs just through the simple act of laughing. So um, I invite you all, just wherever you are, just literally just to laugh with us. So um, I'm just going to lock this seat for a moment. But yeah, so. <laughs> Okay, thanks. <laughs> we know that when you raise your arms over your head, it automatically lifts your mood. So that's what they call one of the power poses, right? Yes. So we're gonna what we're gonna do is just take a deep breath. <sighs> one more time. Raise your arms up. <laughs> oh, very good, very good, very good. Yay! And in Latin, Yay! Yoga, we clap. that's right. We, like we have a childlike playfulness that so we clap for ourselves and we clap for each other. Very good, very good. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Yay! That's right. And the other thing we do is we is we clap and we go ho ho ha 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 ho. We're gonna we're gonna laugh for peace. The whole world. Jordy's here. My, co <laughs> my co workers think I'm crazy now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Get them to <laughs> <laughs> You're doing this at work. <laughs> Perfect place to do it. That's awesome. Perfect. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna laugh for okay. peace. So we're gonna make the peace sign. It was like, oh yes. So we're gonna make the peace sign. We're gonna go. Ha ha ha. <laughs> like a peace sign. You're gonna go down over oh. and around. Sorry, I had that in my head, but that's completely different, oh. isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is like Star that's Trek, Star Trek. Or something. that's like Star Trek. <laughs> that's not Star that peace sign. Sorry, that peace yeah, that, so we're yeah, gonna go. Yeah. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> One more time. Ha, 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 ha. ha. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> or you can just do it in a circle. You can go take a big deep breath at the top, and you go. Ah. <laughs> 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 One more. Uh, uh, <laughs> very good, very good. <laughs> Yay. Yay. And we all have we all have stresses in our life. And sometimes we think our problems are so big that they're right in our face. Okay. Our problems just don't seem to get this far away from us. So what we're gonna do is I'll show, I'll do it this way. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start here, we're gonna go. <laughs> when your problems get farther away, we have a different perspective. And that's what we want to do is we want to be able to laugh with perspective. So in order to see the perspective, you need to be able to laugh and move it out just a bit. So try that again. Take a deep breath. <laughs> and that actually works when you're really stressed you can feel your whole body tighten your whole body and go ah! <laughs> and just let it go ha ha do the karate chop laugh ha <laughs> and then you will automatically oh, what? Shift. what? Yeah, if we all just took some time to do this just for five minutes, gosh, I'm sure the energy of the world would be a much, yeah. much 
yes. different place. It really would. Absolutely. Gosh. Because when um, you when you laugh, you're more likely to share your smile and your laugh with someone else and they can yeah. share. So one smile and one laughter can actually change the world. It has it has that kind of ripple effect. Yeah. Fabulous. That's amazing. So, Linda, how can we find out a little bit more about you? Do you just do work um, locally? Um, you at this point, I don't have a web- yeah, no, at this point, you're... I don't have a website up and running. I have a, a Facebook group, a, a Facebook page, Laughing with Linda. Um, you can find me on Linda Gillen on Facebook. I'm, I'm determined to get back on Periscope. I haven't been on for a couple of months with all the moves and craziness. So I haven't been on Periscope, but I would like to get back and do that. And I will eventually have a website set up, but at this point it's not ready to go. So no. And um event and obviously you're moving to um is it not so South Carolina? South Carolina. I'm moving to Greenville, yeah. South Carolina. Yeah. So um, people local to there will be able to find you there because once um, I'm going to be uploading this um, up to YouTube. So um, this oh, video good. will be there forever. So hopefully if people stumble across this, then oh, they good. will be able to just Google you and find you. The great thing about social media now, you can just find people. Uh, oh, good. Click of a browser. Click of a browser. Yes. We'll and, be able to find you. So, and I recommend yeah. people, if you're looking for a laughter group to laugh with on a regular basis, look at meetup.com. Um, look up laughter mm-hmm. yoga, meetup.com. I know the UK is a huge place for laughter clubs. I mm-hmm. mean, there's some really big name um, uh, trainers in in the UK. In fact, one of them yeah. is in your, in your area. I just saw she has a big training coming. So Really? Yes. What's her name? Oh, it escaped me this morning. It was like, I got to go back and find that name to tell Mel. Yeah, message but, me. Let me know. Yeah. yeah, I will. I will. She's doing a training for people that are already laughter teachers. Um, but yeah. there's check out meetup.com um, or just Google laughter yoga with the name of your city. And you'd be surprised at what you can find. Yeah. 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 And the, and, the yoga um, part is just breathing. So there's no yoga mats. No exercises. Yeah. yeah. Fabulous. Now, um, somebody has just put here, Geordie, links in the chat. So um, there's Linda. So you don't have a website at the moment. So um, Geordie and whoever, um, the reason I've done this blab, this is part of my 30-day Joyful June Big Vision Boot Camp. And, um, and the details of that are actually, they're in my Facebook group, which I've just popped up there. And so I'm an, actually an EFT therapist. So the thing, my tool for kind of bringing joy is tapping. But, you know, there are days I don't really feel like tapping, Linda. So I'm sure there might be some days when you don't particularly feel like laughing. Yeah. Um, and yes, we know it does help us. But I think it's really great to have as many different tools in our toolbox as possible to find ways to make us happy and to bring us joy. Because as human beings, that's the ultimate feeling that you want to feel that's um you know if you're feeling if you're feeling anything other than good or happy you know we can just raise that up a notch you know yeah. and being in the state of joy is the most you know favorable one to be in because it's our natural state but obviously then life and stress and money and children and families and crap and everything else just gets in the way of that joy. So um, by finding anything you can to, um, to just be able to get you out of your way, get out of your own way. And, um, and to, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. My kids bring me joy most of the time. Um, (laughs) I would be lying if I said they brought me joy all of the time, but no, most of the time they absolutely mean it and um and to laugh with your kids is and to be honest, i think as a parent sometimes you forget and obviously as a grandparent yourself Lynn, and obviously you were a parent well you are a parent and a grandparent sometimes we get so stressed with the kids because they're not kind of doing things on time they're not putting their shoes on but sometimes actually do you know what let's just kind of laugh about this situation it just it dissolves all the stress instantly doesn't it yes and sometimes what we do is we turn the music on and we just have a dance party a five minute yeah. dance party and that just lets mm-hmm. go of everybody's stresses and they let go of whatever they were doing at the mm-hmm. moment um so laughing singing dancing and playing like i say this yeah. morning i went out and played with the kids when they were doing bubbles it doesn't take a lot yeah. to just shift your mindset 
and relieve your stress yeah. immediately because it's probably not a life-threatening stress. If it is, mm -hmm. yes, you need to deal with it. But if it's mm -hmm. not a life-threatening stress, find mm -hmm. a way to just move through it. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time, Linda. I've really thoroughly enjoyed um, thank you. <laughs> laughing with you. This was and, fun. Um, yeah, really, really good fun. And um, I wish you so much luck with your move. Look forward thank to you. seeing you on Periscope again. Oh, yeah. And um, and yeah, the, well, I, do, I know I don't know about in the US, but certainly here when they have those lists about the most stressful things that you can go through in your life, moving houses is one of them, isn't it? Yes. There's death, moving house. They're considered to be the most stressful marriage, things. So divorce, marriage, yeah. and divorce. You know? yeah. So I know that you're just going to laugh your way through this with your family. It's going to be an absolute breeze. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and I can't wait to see you and Sarah periscope from your new home. And oh, good. You're, you're, Wishing you all so much luck with your Thank new life you. in Greenville. Thank Give you. Give my love to Sarah. I and, um, will. She had to take the kids out of the house so they weren't in this. <laughs> Oh, bless. Oh, they would have been fun. Oh, oh no. Okay. I know you're busy, so I'm going to let you get on with the rest of your day. And thank, thank you so much. And I will see you again soon. Lots of love to you. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you, everyone, for joining. Thanks.